boxing. And Tony Gubber's our man this time. Second Division Plymouth have only progressed past the fourth round on three occasions, but this team today still includes a trio of the players who took them to that memorable semi-final in 1984. Uzel, Hodges and the remarkable centre-forward Tommy Tynan, who scored 250 goals in a 14-season career. Everton have had the luxury of choosing from a full squad of 17 uninjured players for the first time in three and a half seasons, and they're especially pleased to welcome back their number nine, Graham Sharp, who's missed the last 12 games after a hernia operation. And the referee today, a replacement, Mr Danny Vickers. And as Everton start this fourth round cup tie, I'm sure that the Goodison Park thoughts will be full of the memory of that Littlewoods Cup defeat that they suffered at Bradford. Plymouth in their bright green shirts attacking the goal to the right. And like a handball by Sharp and spotted by Mr Vickers. Well, Graham Sharp had a run out in Everton's reserves on Monday and scored twice. But it's quite a heavy pitch, there's been a lot of rain overnight. Oh, he's dispossessed, this is Tommy Tynan. Oh, it was just marginally offside. The flag had gone up anyway. Even if Tynan had got that ball through to McCarthy. And the referee's allowed play to continue. This is McCall, has arrived, he's towed it in, has he? Oh, just wide of the post. Stuart McCall's quick break from midfield there. Young Alan Miller came off the line, and it just flashed wide of the post. This is Tynan, and the shot was from Kevin Hodges. So, a chance at either end in a little over a minute. Sharp, just hooked away from him, this is Hodges. Only as far as Kenny Brown. Oh, Tynan almost got tall enough. That's Tynan with a flick. Brown, the fullback. Oh, Sean McCarthy. Well, certainly Plymouth's best opportunity. Tynan involved, and Kenny Brown, the fullback as well. Plymouth's first corner to be taken by Mark Stewart. by McCall. There's McCarthy again. And Hodges over the bar. So, Plymouth coming close to scoring through Sean McCarthy. Here it is again, you can see Kenny Brown, the fullback. Tynan almost got high enough that time. Everton slow to clear the ball, hooked on by Tynan to Brown. And it was taken away from McCarthy by, I think it was Ian Snowden. Now, oh, Trevor Stephen. And look at Mark Stewart sprinting back to put him under pressure. That's what you want to see from your front players. Snowden. Again, looking for Sharp, little lockdown for Cotty! Oh, it was Sheedy! Well, Everton's best chance, and Kevin Sheedy. Well, he went in there with Cotty, it was a lovely jump by Sharp. It might have fallen for Cotty, and his right foot, Kevin Sheedy, he doesn't use that one, does he? It's gone out of play. Looking for Sharp. Good header by Smith. McCall. Oh, fine save. Well, what a splendid save by the boy who is the product of the FA's coaching school. And I'm sure you won't mind me saying who's coached by my BBC colleague Bob Wilson. Absolutely fine. Fine save. Stephen with the corner. 
company as far as Summerfield. And again, there's a lot of Everton players forward. Bracewell. And safely into the very firm and talented hands of Alan Miller. Well, this is McCall. He hits it on the volley. It's a cracking shot. And look at that. What an absolutely splendid save. McCarthy scrapping for everything. He's got Stewart available on the left, and this is a good chance. Oh, it was just too far, was it? Yes! McCarthy, who'd had the first chance, has caused an explosion of joy at home park. It was a lovely ball out to the left to pick out Mark Stewart to start with. His ball into the middle was too far wide of Tommy Tynan. Tynan couldn't get on it, but it comes back. And there's McCarthy to bury it. And Plymouth ahead, 1-0. 62 minutes gone. McCarthy's seventh goal of the season. Marker. Brown. Now Van den Howe for Everton. Only as far as Brown. And that's a Plymouth throw. And the referee overrules his linesman. Everton have taken it quickly. This is Sheedy with the famous left foot. And the hooked away by Mark Smith. Stephen. Good flick on. What's is there? Oh, out of the hands of the keeper. Watson again. Oh. And young Miller under real pressure from Everton centre half, Dave Watson. Little flick on was by Sharp. And Miller misses it there. Back in by McCall. And only gets it here at the second attempt. Agitation now on the Plymouth bench. Manager Ken Brown isn't there, he's sitting up in the stand. Sheedy. Sharp. Snowden comes up from the back. Got Stephen on the right. Looking for Sharp's head. There was a hand went up and it's a penalty. Danny Vickers saw the hand go up. The appeals from the Everton crowd behind that goal were immediate. And he had no hesitation in giving it. Well, it was a penalty that kept Everton in the cup at West Brom. And this will be Sheedy. Now, can he make himself a real hero, Alan Miller? So, Kevin Sheedy's second FA Cup penalty keeps Everton alive in the FA Cup. Sheedy's fifth of the season, and that's given Everton the lifeline. So, 1-1. One, one. Well, here's the incident again when Snowden knocks it in. There's a whole group of players. And there was certainly a hand, and it may well have been Burroughs. Nicky Marker. In strong. Summerfield, number seven. Well, the Everton goal has certainly got Plymouth out chasing, and now they might get caught here. This is Ratcliffe. Sheedy, left foot. Oh! Well, even from that sort of distance, the trusty left foot of Kevin Sheedy always needs treating with respect. Oh, 
corners for handball. And referee Mr Vickers has got his watch in his hand as we approach the full 90 minutes. And the game now moves into time added on for stoppages. This is Marker. Wide for Tynan. Got McCarthy in the middle. Hodges arriving. There's McCarthy. McCarthy into the boards and the ball into the hands of Southall. So Plymouth within 10 minutes of realising their ambition to dump Everton out of the FA Cup. Now must play at Goodison Park in a Tuesday night replay. A match that was never a great cup tie, which came to life at the end. It was a memorable, particularly for a splendid one-handed save by young Alan Miller, the 18-year-old goalkeeper. But he couldn't do anything about the penalty from Sheedy. And it'll be an inquest in the dressing room to see whose hand it was that conceded the penalty, instantly given by Mr Vickers. And Plymouth, having put themselves ahead with that fine goal by Sean McCarthy, will have to settle for a draw. It's Plymouth 1, it's Everton 1, Goodison Park Tuesday night.